in my previous video I made a tutorial of how to hide cells or columns in Excel by using VBA or macros. And one of my viewers have asked me how can he hide rows A2 to A4 by selecting cell A1 or hide rows 5 to 7 by selecting cell B1. So in this video I'm going to show you how to activate a macro or hide these rows by selecting a cell. So this is my Excel as always go to the developer tab then go to the visual basic then go to the sheet one so this is where we have to write our code the first code would be private sub hide range a1 enter and now we can write the code rows two to four dot hidden is equals to true then rows five to seven dot hidden is equals to false so we have written our first sub what does that mean that means when this macro gets activated the rows 2 to 5 would be hidden and the rows 5 to 7 would be unhidden and then we need to do exact opposite of this so what you can do is copy this select it and press ctrl c ctrl v and then call it b1 so that means hide range when b1 is selected and we need to just reverse the true and false this would be false now and this would be true so we go back up press some enters it's also a good practice to type option explicit the next step is to activate a macro when you select a cell inside excel so to do that type in private sub worksheet underscore selection change by val target as range close the bracket press enter and then we need to type in if selection dot count is equals to one then press tab and then if not intersect target comma range bracket a1 is nothing then tab call hide range a1 enter back else if not intersect so it's exactly the same thing you could even copy it if you want to back and if enter and back enter back and if so that means if any cell is now selected this sub would be activated and if the cell a1 is selected the intersection is cell a1 then we will run hide range a1 sub which is this code and if it is b1 that's intersected then we run hide range b1 code which is this obviously you can change it to any code you want but don't forget you need to close it by selecting an if at the end this is the code as simple as this so we go back to excel and now we test it so you can see all the rows are visible and now if i select b1 you see five to seven are hidden and one to four are still there now i select a1 two to four are invisible or hidden and seven to eight are back on and you can just flip between the two I will put this Excel into the cloud. You can download it from the description of this video to help you to practice. If you have any questions, as always, put it in the comments below and I will come back and I'll try to help you.